This is very important information. None of it is an advertisement to take your money. So that uh, fireplace effect that we hear in every episode, let's, uh, let's just turn, I'll just turn on the fire here. It's a fireplace. It is, that is a fireplace that you're hearing. It's a fireside chat that we're having with the, between us and you, the listener, Mom. Hi, Mom. Okay, uh, you're going to hear some current event talk in this episode that is not current. Yes, we recorded several episodes before we uh, before we went live. So <laughs> if you like what you hear at all, please uh, support us on iTunes by just giving us five stars so that more people know that we're out here shouting into microphones. Yes. Uh, also, well, you can talk about this because I hate this. Jim hates this part of the show. You can vote for your favorite idea that we came up with in each episode in the show notes. There's a survey link, and we will maybe at some point in time do a bonus episode based on the winning idea. Finally, if you have anything you want to say to us, anything at all, hopefully it's nice things. But even if it's not, if you have feedback for us, hit us up on any of our social media platforms or on the email. You can email us at do you want to make a podcast at gmail.com. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at do you want to pod. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate you and we hope you enjoy. Enjoy. I love you. Bye. Except hello, because now the show's starting. I just fucked up so badly. Oh, we no. we just recorded. Oh no! What have, might have been the best episode ever. Oh no! And then I stopped the recording. I did what I normally did. I. Oh no! But before saving it, I oh, unplugged. No. I unplugged the microphone. Oh. But I didn't know that would erase no! the recording! No! That was such a good no! fucking episode, too. I don't even remember what we talked about! I'm really upset. What if we could recreate it exactly perfectly? Mom! Mom! Mom, we really messed up. Mom! Shit! No! Oh, man. Well. Okay. Well, you know what's funny? Oh. Here. I don't know on. what. Uh, okay. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. I really fucked up. Shut up. Yeah. Hey, Joe Copley. Hey, Jim Bloss. Do you want to make a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so angry at myself. I'm, no! really... I'm sorry, Jim. Oh. <sighs> well, all right, hold on. Okay. I have more ideas. Wait, okay. I just want to quick... We're not going to explain. I just want to recap the few things that okay. happened. Yeah, I'm writing down the things that I deleted. On the episode that will never see the light of day. And because it doesn't exist anymore. God damn, it was good. Okay. Oh my god. So so let's real quick try and remember, what was the other thing that I did from my list? Yeah, so we started with oh, right. phrases, a podcast idea about phrases that are dated that we would like to change. And I went on a whole... Oh my god! Gorp is dead! Yeah, oh, hang on, he's not dead. Hang on, like, we, I gotta give context. No! Jim, Jim, just wait, wait. We'll get there. Oh god! We can't, we're gonna, it's gonna be okay. Okay, so hang on. I have to write down all the things that we did! Hang on. I have to write them down! I, I have them, I have them written down. It's fine, it's fine. We're okay. We're okay. Damn, fuck! Okay. We started with an idea about uh, things, phrases that I would like to change. The first one and foremost, <laughs> the only one really being uh, referring to movies as films. Jim's pacing so frantically because films, 
Film is not used to make movies anymore, so we should stop calling them that. And I said that was dumb! And Jim said that was dumb. He came up with an idea, uh, or, or no, his 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 addition to that was to change the phrase GORP, G-O-R-P, and I was like, what? I've never heard of that. Jim's like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a phrase to describe trail mix. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's funny. It sounds like the name from a character from Hello from the Magic Tavern, our other favorite podcast. And then this seven foot tall... J- <laughs> Holy shit, Gorp is back. <laughs> I'm crying so much. Because he's terrifying. Because he's so terrifying. Gorp is a seven foot tall (laughs) Gorp is a seven foot tall jelly bean alien. Hello. (laughs) And he sounds like that. Hi Gorp. Hello. Yes, I am Gorp. I heard you talking about me again. Uh, Welcome back Gorp. Uh, Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. What's so funny Gorp? Uh, nothing is funny. Some that's just how I cough. Oh, great. Okay, so Gorp has a I slight cough. I have off. asthma. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Gorp. But so, thank you for caring. All right, Gorp. I'd love to do this. You know, I wouldn't. I would not love to do this over again. I'm going to kindly ask you to leave. Wow, I had such a rich backstory about how I was from a galaxy. That was inhabited entirely by beings made of different movie snacks. Set phasers to transport! <laughs> Good one. That, I, woo, okay, Gorp's gone. He was more terrifying the second time! Yeah, he was. That's a really good uh, lemon grab voice that you're doing, Jim. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, and yeah, so we've re-met Gorp, and something he hasn't, didn't tell, get into was he's his his people are colonizing yeah they're, the entire, they're apparently colonizing earth the, the, entire, the entire solar system the whole known universe and we don't know if there are kind people or what it will look like once they've colonized us they might just leave us alone and I hang think out that, that yeah I mean you know Maybe. I feel like it would probably be dangerous for them to come here to earth because we have a snack that looks so much like them yeah, we need the shit you know, out of this. You know people. what was weird too though? That he said he said he was from I forget exactly what it was called, but it was like the Jelly Belly Planet, like Jelly Bellyopolis or something, something like that. Something like that. And I was like, What the heck, Gorp? Yeah. Like that you you say you're not actually jelly beans, but you but then you also say you are. Gorp's, Gorp's a confusing uh per- creature i don't know his gen- his or her gender so we're gonna say gorp's a very weird gorp uh i'm gonna move you on know who would love gorp uh who who, who? ronald reagan <laughs> jim we got it we got to recap we got to recap because <laughs> all right. i don't want to lose this all right, th- all right the next thing was um uh uh, uh now, now oh fitness fitness, fitness. I, I i yelled fitness and then i broke the fitness industry and i'll do it again in under 10 seconds okay uh, physique is comprised of 80% what you eat, 20% what you do. When exercising, the most important thing is an elevated heart rate. And when doing weight training, the most, most, most important thing is time under tension, T-U-T. That ruins every gimmicky workout scam, personal whatever that has been thrown at you. Yeah. You are welcome, planet Earth. Yeah, and then he said, when he summarized, he said the first tenet was eat good. And I said, can I eat good in the neighborhood? And I was like, Applebee's. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Yep. And and then I went on a tirade about how everybody shits on Applebee's, but I think it's okay. Okay. Good, moving on. And then we... Moving on was pizza! We talked about pizza. We talked about pizza and how basically any podcast we do will involve pizza because I love pizza more than I love most people. Yep. Present company included. We talked about best pizza, favorite pizza spots. Jim is a pizza place in Penn Station. And pizza! Penn Station pizza! It's just called pizza! And mine is a 99 cent... 99 Cent Pizza Express on 43rd and 8th Avenue. But we talked about how I'm not really pizza snob. Like, will I probably order Domino's later today? Uh, yes, I probably will. And I would never touch Domino. Well, I, 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 I eat Domino's, but I don't enjoy it as nearly as much as I do almost every other pizza. 
But before we get into this, and Jim kills me with his "How dare you shit on Domino's" face, let's move uh, no, on. No, I won't. I won't. I won't blame other people for shitting on Domino's. Domino's is Domino's good? Uh, maybe not. Okay. Is pizza delicious, regardless of where it comes from? Uh, pretty much. And then we moved on to uh, a very deep idea for a podcast, which is uh, talking. Either Jim and I talking about this or people calling in about the moment or moments you start thinking for yourself where you challenge uh, whatever norms are around you. Uh, for me, it was, uh, you know, the moment I started thinking for myself about religion and, you know, God, question mark, that whole thing. But it also could be about the time that you first befriended someone of a different race or sexual orientation or country of origin or when you leave the country and your eyes are opened or the first time you see a fucking mountain and you're like, whoa, I'm in Lord of the Rings. This is amazing. Uh, You know, a a podcast about that. And then... Oh, I sang a really good rendition of Pat Benatar's Hit Me With Your Best Shot earlier, too. Which will never get back. And it will never get it back! That's, that's probably the Hit big. me with your best shot! Why don't you hit me with your best shot? Hit me with your best shot! Burn, burn a fire away! All right, that's enough. That was almost as good as your first rendition. Almost. Almost. Honestly, it was a little bit more belty, so it was probably better. Well, or not. what is better? Know. What is what is better? That's Great, we so we, we, we recapped in under ten minutes. No, wrong. Oh. Photoshop for podcast. Oh, no, we're back on this again. Photoshop for podcast. Oh, Let me tell you something, no. boys and girls. Oh no! I have a lot to say about this topic because Ugh. I think it's a great idea, and I'm still confused about it. Go on, Jim. All right. I actually don't think it's a great idea. I lied. I'm just <laughs> trying to really get get into. Oh. That. I just think, uh, just I just like that phrase. Pho- I, I don't I because like, Photoshop is visual and podcasts are auditory. Well, yeah, but that's why you like. Isn't that how you come up with a new idea? You you come up with two things that don't that, go together, and then you put them together somehow. Yeah. Like Photoshop for podcasts. Or? Oh, that's like talking about car sailing. Like yes, let's do that. Let's what? make boat cars. Of what? course. Oh, of God. what did what course. have I done? What have I done? Sweet, is it sweet Jesus? What have I done? Is that the? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> we lame this podcast where we just one more day before the storm. <laughs> this is this episode is on crack. Joseph, I am reeling. I feel I'm so terrible. Reeling. Because I deleted that it last was one. was very good. And there was and such now, a good ending. And now I sound like I'm on drugs and I can't come down. <sighs> okay. 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 A podcast about... I have more ideas. Ah, uh, okay. All right. All right. Hold on. Uh-huh. Let's take a breath. Ah. <sighs> You know what I forgot about, Jim? The magic is still here. The magic is still here. I don't want to hear what you've forgotten about. You should just forget it. Leave it in the past. Everything that's in the past is in the past. It's gone forever, and we'll never get it back! What I forgot about was that our only listener will love whatever we make because the only person listening to this is either my mom or your mom. Not both of them? Hey, well, okay. <laughs> probably depending on the week. I don't know that my mom's. Yeah, that's her. true. Well, my mom probably doesn't listen to every episode. Hi, mom. And she probably would have stopped listening by now because we said shit too many times. If that's the case, she hasn't made it past the first episode, and we well, have I'm been. I'm saying she she tries again every week, and you know she. <laughs> her mom stop after the first four seconds. I mean, if I... my dad listened, he would do that. Yeah. Like, again, anytime, anytime we're watching something and like somebody goes like. Says says that the bad f word. He'll be like, turn it off. <laughs> okay, like, so 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 let's not 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 with your father, but let's unpack why, or at least we can speculate why. Why do people get so hung up about swear words? Because they're bad words, and that is why I love them so much. But like, if people didn't taboo them, I wouldn't care That's at true. all about swear words. That's true. I would probably never use them. It's because they discuss things that we uh, they're just want, words they, uh, we want to make private. Okay, but let's okay, but let's let, let's think about yeah, this. Yeah, you want to know why? That's why. Right, right. Okay, but let's think about it for a second. 
a bunch of people who we don't know all sat down and were like, these words that we made up are bad and they cannot be said. And now, hundreds of years later, well, but it's like people like they actually people have been programmed to hear a word and just like get a certain kind of way about it. And I think that's crazy. That blows my freaking fucking mind. Your freaking fucking. My freaking fucking mind, man. And I'm just like, it's a choice to endow that word with the thing that bothers you. Yes. The word is a word. Yes. So when people get angry at people for using swear words, it's like, you made yourself upset. I could have said dog. I could have said any word. I uh, here here's here's what I'll say. I'm glad that you uh, were able to go on a diatribe about that because I was able to listen to something that I really don't care about and help me really get back into my center. <laughs> Uh, I feel a little better at having deleted what was probably the best episode of this podcast. (sighs) So what are your ideas, Jim? As I probably am going to start crying. Hit me with it. Hit me with your best shot. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? (laughs) Hit me with your best shot. Oh, I miss Gorp. Fire away. Where's Gorb? Don't bring him back. I will have a fucking heart attack. Well, I can't bring him back. He's an independent person with his own free will, and you teleported him halfway across the galaxy. Can we just take a second for the fact that I now have teleportation powers? <sighs> I have spend it- too much time dwelling on them, I'll take them away. Y- y- you have, have taking power. powers away powers? Yes. I'm. What are you... F- Freaking Peter Pim Petrelli, Petrelli in Heroes! Ah! Ah! Did you know that that's how we first became friends? More or less. A, I don't believe this. B, I'm upset no. I don't remember this. We, we, we would talk about Heroes because but, Heroes premiered our like freshman year of high school. But we were and friends. That's not why we became friends, that was That was it? one of the things that we talked about that, that uh, okay. sparked our friendship. And then All I right. was like, oh, hey, I see you do the plays. I also would like to do the plays. And then we carpooled together, yeah. and then our friendship blossomed into the beautiful flower you see before you. <laughs> so hit me with a pitch. All right. So I'm going to run through a couple things here, because uh-huh. they kind of all connect together. So the first thing I wrote down was uh, Feudal Quest. Futile. F-U-T-I-L-E. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the thing that prompted that was uh, me looking for the perfect sleeping position uh, in, in bed. Which, uh, for me, is a struggle and a saga that I have found no solution to. Um, so, oh, do you have a solution? The face I'm... No, I'm I'm going to let you finish. Okay. Well... Then I'll say my thing. Okay, so, so there's that, right? There was futile quests, right? Uh-huh. But as I said, futile quests, or futile... I don't know how you say that word. I think you can say it both ways. But I was saying it feudal. Yeah. Users. Which, dealer's choice. Which made me think of feudal quests. Middle Ages. So, yes. So, we yep. can. Yeah. So, uh, either futile quests or feudal quests. Take your pick. Uh, I think futile will give us a lot more to go on because I don't feel like researching a lot of Middle Ages. Researching? Have you looked at the. The thing, what the, who's the man? King Arthur! That was all bullshit! We can just make up stuff as we go! Uh, just I'm, be like, just I'm be so like, confused. I'm a knight of the round table! Except oh, we probably couldn't we just, say round so table. So we just do this, this very podcast, but pretend it's in the year Except fif- we're knights! 15 something, whatever. Yes, and we are off to slay the dragon! I was just looking at the levels as you did that. The levels are all over the place in this I, episode, and we, I apologize to no one. I have a lot of emotions. Well, just kidding. I'm so sorry. You probably can't hear, and your ears are bleeding. I'm so so sorry. I'm a monster. Oh no, God. Oh no, God. Oh God. Jim, oh man. Jim, they're not who you apologize to because I'm the one that makes it at a healthy level for their ears. I'm the person that deals with the levels. 
Ah, and that's why we're not going to do a feudal podcast because I I won't have enough time in the day to make everything okay. I can be a quiet knight, or I'll be a wizard. I'll be a quiet. No, I won't be a wizard. I'll be a. <laughs> I'll just be. I'll be the 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 handmaiden. Hello, <laughs> I'm a handmaiden. I'm here to wash your hands. It's going to be the handmaiden's tale. Yes. Great. Or uh, or who else is quiet? I'll be a monk. I'll be a silent monk. I've taken a vow of silence. Yeah, that's going to go real well on the podcast. No one can see what you're. No one can see your solemn bowing. Fa- yeah, this is this isn't going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's like, oh, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> he can speak through chat. Oh, thank no. God. I am the chanting monk. What is up? I communicate through uh-huh. trance. Well, no, you don't. You don't think that's it? No, I don't. And I also want to say, uh, a, a, another example of a futile quest is trying to find the perfect podcast. Which is you shut your mouth. Just saying. We are going to find it, what? and when we do, we'll be rich. But it, when we do, we stop doing this podcast. Yeah, we do that one, and we get even more rich. But I'm gonna miss this podcast. We can we can still do this podcast. Whatever. Okay. All right. We can still do this. Okay. <laughs> so we'll we'll have our we'll have our best podcast ever, which makes us wealthy. And then we keep doing this one for fun? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, great. <laughs> good. Good good plan. Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm full of good right. ideas. So that's one. I mean, that's a very... I'm sorry. What, what about feudal quests? Oh, are we still talking about feudal quests? No, not feudal quests. Futile quests. Feudal? Yes. Feudal? I thought you had more. Are we talking about feudal quests, or are we talking about feudal quests? I'm going to murder you. <laughs> I just want to know what, what we're talking about, I'm Jim. going to murder you, you monster. <laughs> I tr- uh, Never mind. Do whatever uh, you want. Do whatever you want to do. I don't care anymore. Uh, Life is meaningless, and we're all going to die anyway. Here's, here's why you're going to be glad you didn't kill me, Jim. Why? Because I have an idea for a podcast all about cats meowing the Phantom of the Opera. Specifically, how is that a podcast? Meow, 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 skip ahead, meow, 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 meow. I'm skip. I'm I'm skipping through. Meow, 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 meow. You're welcome. Aren't you glad you didn't kill me? Uh, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, but okay. But we I will go- say. I will say that there is a slight issue with that. Is that it's very similar to the. The chicken band thing that Jimmy Fallon did a couple years back. Haven't seen it. Well, that's don't you're care to an ignorant whore. If not watching Jimmy Fallon religiously makes me an ignorant whore. First off, you don't have to watch Jimmy. Call Fallon. Call me ignorant every, McHorror. Because whore, everything good that case. he does goes viral the next day because everybody loves it so much. If being out of the loop on Jimmy Fallon makes me an ignorant slut, call me Igni McSlutty Slut. I'll just call you Jane Curtin. Who? That's the ignorant slut. What? That's it's from Saturday Night Live. Oh, that from the original Weekend Update. Oh, okay. I think it was. Uh, I think it was Dan Aykroyd <laughs> and Jane Curtin would do the news. Okay. And every once in a while, or maybe he only said it once, but 
Dan would say to <laughs> say to her, Jane, you ignorant slut. Oh, Dan Aykroyd. And, and that's where what that's and that's where that's from. <laughs> okay, but not just meowing the Phantom of the Opera. Like this is my preference. Not the biggest Andrew Lloyd Webb's fan, but. All of his songs that I don't like, when I have Cats meowing it, especially all the songs from Cats, the I was, musical. I was one. I was waiting to see when you got there. I love that. Like now, here's my meow, proposal. meow, here's, meow, here's, meow, meow. If anything, that's how the musical should go. That's true. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna say what I was gonna say as, uh, later because first I have to go. Meow, 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 mm. meow, meow. Meow it to me. Meow 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 Meow, 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 meow. All right, I'm done. Can, can, can we pause for one second? Yeah, 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 yeah. What we just did is more or less how I spent the entirety of college. Excellent. Love it. Love Meowing it, love it. songs, rolling around on the floor, breathing. Just now, want to take a second. I'm really putting now, my degree to work right Put now. it to work, baby. Now, let me ask you two questions. First question. Sure. Do you think we have violated any copyright laws? Probably not. Well, fair use, fair use. We'll call it fair use. Fair use. Uh, second off, <laughs> let me let me let me shoot you this proposal. Mm-hmm. Not just cats. Every character played by a different animal. You want to make those other sounds? Be my guest. But woof woof <laughs> woof 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 woof. A woof, dog woof. in Cats the musical? Yes. Brilliant. A dog will play Grisabella. Holy shit. Uh, and and a chicken. And a bird, and a pig, and a cow, and a horse. Those all are normal sounds. Nay, nay, <laughs> nay, 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 nay. But they're all Grisabella. <laughs> yes, they're, they're all Grisabella. <laughs> I don't know any other songs from Cat. That's not true. I okay, so wait, it's like Grisabella wait. the Glamour Horse, Grisabella yeah. the gl- Glamour Dog. No, no, here's a chicken. Singing the opening, singing Jellicle songs. If you... Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's All a right, rooster. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you take, you take songs you don't like, have animals sing them. That's the podcast. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to cut that down a little bit, though. Shave that down. Because oh, if, don't if worry. If all of that ends up on the no. finished product, you're right. Everyone will have checked out. Everyone will have checked out. I think everyone will have checked out when they are like, what's he singing? And it's hey. like, it's memory from Cats. And they're like, what? And I'm like, you are ignorant. Just kidding. I love you, even if you don't know what memory from Cats is. So you know what's It a, is a very good song. Do you know what's a... A futile quest, but also an idea I have for a podcast, yes. but also a podcast that has no ending to it. Yes. Because it's a futile quest. Yes. Uh, yes, I do know. You ready for this? I know. A podcast about trying to find... Trying to find... F- flaws. Flaws. In Matt Bomber. In Matt Bomber. In what? Matt Bomber. Matt Bomer. Don't know how it's pronounced. The most... And I say this scientifically, I'm not attracted to him. The most perfect male specimen now, ever. Now I know, I know that I know who you're talking about. There are no flaws. I know that I know who you're talking about. No flaws. I know that I know who you're talking about. Uh huh. But I don't know who you're talking about. No, give me, a, give me a roll. White collar, magic. White money. collar. Who the hell watches white collar? Raising my hand. Why? 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 Uh, okay. Give me uh, something else. Magic Mike. Magic Mike? Who watches Magic Mike? Soon to be on Broadway, or maybe it's in previews, Boys in the Band. Uh, oh, is he in that? Yeah, he is. He's one of those guys? Yeah, one of the boys in the band. And uh, what else was he in? Oh, he was in The Normal Heart. That yeah. might be where I know his name. That too. Even though I, okay. I didn't actually Okay, so see like, 
Let's just look at his... We'll just start with his face. The proportions of, like, his eyes. It's like, it's like somebody went into... Talk about Photoshop. It's like somebody built the most, like, symmetrical face with the mm-hmm. most piercing eyes and put it on a human. And, mm-hmm. like... And he's... He's a really good actor, too. It's like, shut up. There's got to be a flaw. There's got to be something wrong with this person. And we could spend an entire podcast... Let's look at his face. ...trying to find flaws. Oh, yes. Right? Uh, he does have... There's there's no flaws. He's like he's like a fucking... He's like an alien. I, I don't am, think he's a human. I am currently looking at his... <laughs> Did somebody say alien? Gorp, do you recognize this creature? Oh, wow. He is very attractive yeah. by your human standards. Yeah. Yeah, a, a little. You think, Gorp? In Jelly Bellyopolis, he would be like... A four. Okay, Gorp. Who asked you? There goes my podcast. All right. Well, I'll be going. Goodbye, <laughs> Gorp. Leave it to Gorp to shit on my parade. Thanks for coming, Gorp. I appreciate your input. Oh, yeah. oh, oh! Now, now you're happy to see Gorp, Jim. You're welcome. I thought you left, Gorp. Make a decision. So now you're happy to see Gorp, Jim, when I, he's. I just... When, once I realized that he wasn't gonna kill me immediately, I was, you know. Yeah, he still he might kill might, us. He might kill me Just later, not, but. not immediately. But yes, I am looking at his 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 main photo on his IMDb page, and uh, no flaws. That's a handsome man. No flaws. It's and a handsome man. And I'll have you know, in white collar, he's always like just this man that women can't help but throw themselves at. Obviously, so he's often shown without a shirt on and i just look at it from a personal trainer aspect i'm like again no flaws like what the fuck what the actual fuck it's not real he is not a real real human yeah he's a he's a cutie pie there has to be flaws no i mean everybody's got flaws god i i don't see any i see none let's look at some uh some trivia on uh, IMDb, he has one brother, Neil, and one sister, Megan. Uh-huh. Did you know that uh, 61 of 62 people found this interesting? I know one person who doesn't. Me. That's not oh, a flaw. Are you the Are you the one person? Yeah. Uh, let's Let's see. Uh, not a flaw. He is a talented singer, and he has demonstrated it professionally. You're just You're just listing more uh, good attributes, uh, Jim. No yeah. flaws. Here's, not hearing any here's flaws. Here's a fun one. Here's a fun one. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh. Bomer is uh, often said to bear a strong physical resemblance to British actor Henry Cavill, <laughs> a.k.a. Super- Superman! <laughs> Super freaking man! Who has no flaws. I'm telling you, there are no flaws. It's not real. He is not a real human. I'm so jealous. Matt Bomer, you the man. All of this is said in appreciation. He is. He is. He was ranked number 13 in 2013 in Glamour's list of the fifth sexiest men. Okay. So who are the 12 men that are above him? Uh, I'm going to kill them all because... Did you know he's also a distant distant cousin of Justin Timberlake? Wait, 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 wait. A distant cousin. To top it all off? Jim, you're not helping me. Both share a common descendant from uh, an Edward Boner who was uh, born in 1690. Wait, so oh, very he's related to fun Jay fact, Tibbs? Fun fact. What? Uh, 326 of 330 people found it. That fact interesting. Yeah, that's very interesting. Also, Jim, not a flaw. He has three children. <sighs> Kit. I bet he's the best father. And twins, Walker and Henry. Bet there's no flaws in that parenting. 313 out of 322 found that interesting. Yeah. Yeah, uh uh-huh. Okay, you can follow us on Twitter at Do You Want to Pod. You can follow us on Instagram at Do You Want to Pod. You can follow us on Facebook if you want. We don't really plan on updating the Facebook much, but you can at Do You Want to Pod, I think. And you can email us. Please email me flaws about Matt Bomer. If I challenge you because there are none, email me some flaws. Do you want to make a podcast at gmail.com? Full disclo- or, uh, disclaimer, rather. All this said about Matt Bomer is said in much appreciation. He rocks. 
None of this is was, none of this comes from a hateful place. Last one, he was born on a Tuesday at 7:20 a.m. Two out of two people found that interesting. <sighs> Bye mom. <laughs> Bye mom, I love you. Bye.